Alrighty, I'm going to do this in, in English. Welcome aboard my uh, RV-7. I'm a Danish pilot flying the RV uh, since 2016. And uh, today it's going to be a test flight for the new uh, pilot tube and AOA installation on, on the aircraft, which I retrofitted uh, over the last couple of weeks. So I've been the owner of this aircraft for a couple of years, uh, doing some upgrades here and there. and. Uh, one of the recent ones was after a flight in um, together with one of my friends. Uh, he was flying an RV4, and then I thought that we were flying a little bit slow on the cruise, so I asked him uh, his airspeed indicated, and uh, it turned out that my airspeed indication was uh, about 12, 13 knots lower than his, so at least on the lower side, not on the higher side, which was good. Uh, so um, I already at that time had purchased. Um, and uh, a Dynan Avionics uh, heated pedo and AOA tube, but I needed to install it. And uh, I can tell you to all those uh, builders, don't do that uh, retrospectively. It's uh, a lot of work, uh, a lot of, uh, I would say, bad positions. Um, Actually, at the same time, I, I, they also uh, decided to uh, to replace all of the, the static uh, tubing, so everything has been taken out and everything has been replaced. So uh, today is the the first flight with the with the new installation in place. Uh, I've done the uh, the zero pressure calibration a couple of days ago in the hangar with uh, some towels and cloth hanging over the static and the the pilot tube to get absolutely zero pressure. So that has been calibrated and the next next step on the, on the checklist is to um, to do a flight. So today I'm going to be flying out of Copenhagen, no, sorry, Roskilde Airport, very close to Copenhagen, uh, going a little bit uh, south easterly heading until I'm a little bit uh, free of the terminal area around the Copenhagen Airport. And um, then I'm going to do uh, what is saying in the instructions to do some pitching up and down and then some stalls where the uh, the dining avionics will be measuring the, uh, let's say, the deepest stall that I will be able to occur. So, um, more about that when we get airborne. So, right now it's just a basic taxi uh, uh, for the run-up. Uh, still pretty cold oil temperature. Temperature here right now is 16 degrees Celsius. And uh, I'll get back to you once uh, we're airborne and uh, yeah, I'm probably going to show the uh, takeoffs as well. Um, hopefully, I'll, well not hopefully, I will be doing a slow takeoff instead of the normal ones where I'm just uh, not flooring it but uh, just basically uh, do a slow takeoff to see the uh, the airspeed build up as I go along and then uh, take the aircraft in the air, into the air around 55 knots. Hopefully that will work, but let, let's see about that. Uh, coming back once we are ready for departure. Okay, airspeed is live. Picking. A55, airborne. And positive rate of climb. Good. on the clock right now, increasing the airspeed a little bit. Seven on the seat climbing. Traffic. 90 knots. Absolutely, everything looks, looks normal. Doing a hundred knots now. Oh. Covering information, good afternoon. I'm getting you home, Victor Papa. Hi. 
Bild von. Leaving altitude. And then uh, stall in just uh, to uh, full flap stall. Uh, flat speed. Yeah, flat speed check. And full flaps. Scattered. 3,200 feet, broken, 4,400 feet, temperature 12, 2.09, QNH 1.007. Final storm in landing configuration. There. Leaving altitude. Next speed, five up. Ah, maybe I forgot that one, so maybe this do the final one. Uh, check speed, left stop. That's four. Wait for the stall. That was a deep one. Leaving altitude. That flaps up. Stall. Five stalls. Getting safe. Okay. That should be it. Just reversing course, going to the east again. Just doing some uh, slow fight, see how that works. Maybe the audio for the AOA is not enabled or inhibited, I don't know, but uh, I can speak that when I land again. There should be some uh, clicking in the in the headset when not closing to to the critical AOA. There it is. Excellent. Recovery. So that is the calibration of the uh, angle of attack, Diamond Sky View, uh, classic version. Hopefully it will work. Uh, I'll check that when I'm going to land. So right now I'm just going to cruise back uh, towards the uh, the airfield I'm coming from, and uh, and then uh, during the landing, let's see how that responds. This is a tailwheel, so uh, today I'm just going to do a normal three-point landing uh, to see how that works, and if there's something coming in the. Uh, audio uh, alert, so I don't need to look down before, uh, yeah, to get the airspeed and the angle of attack for the landing. So, more to come uh, in, a, in a few moments.
traffic. Turn right via one-way 03 and vacate at the end. Zero three to the end, ask me to power. Oh, that was cool. So uh, the AOA started to chip in when uh, I was a uh, flare and I uh, had a steady tone uh, of a touchdown. That's pretty damn neat, so I liked it. Uh, the AOA inhibit uh, for airspeed Maybe I should set a little bit higher. I uh, would not be able to fly the aircraft at uh, 38 knots. I think I said it's 35 right now, so I'm gonna reduce that to, to uh, increase that to 38, 39 maybe, uh, for it not to say anything. So that's, that's nice.